Adam Robertson here. Uh, hey, Marcus, you and Scott Hall have been my favorite wrestler since 1998 in the gym. Uh, and both of you helped me with my sobriety by your stories. Meeting you in Alabama was unbelievable. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great to hear. Thank you so much, Adam. Uh, you know, me and Scott didn't get a chance to hang out quite as much because he was, uh, you know, he was in the WWF a long time. But when he was here, he was, uh, uh, I was a huge fan of Scott Hall's as well, but he helped me a lot with things I didn't see. Uh, you don't know this because Scott really wasn't considered a body guy um, the last part of his career, but look up some pictures of the Diamond Stud. Uh, Scott Hall was tremendous. He had one of the best bodies in the business, and he looked like a lot like Magnum, Magnum T.A., uh, and that's why he kind of changed his look. And when he went up north to, to Vince, he went to that leaner, you know, healthy fitness look. But at one time, the diamond stud was jacked. And um, so he knew a lot of stuff that I didn't really know. Like when he first saw me, he goes, you should get rid of those boots because they make your calves look small. Because Scott had small calves also. And he said, you got to, he said, you don't look proportion." on tv you should have a bigger boot and i went straight and bought a bigger boot and when you looked at me symmetrically for the next five years i looked i feel like i looked much better or at least more symmetrical because i went down to that real little you know small ankle to a little bit of a baggy boot and my look was much better and i got scott hall to thank for that he was he was a great a great talent man in his day Excellent. Yeah, he was he was absolutely enormous as a diamond stud. And it's funny you mentioned uh, Magnum because he did look just like him with the, with the mustache and, and everything back then. Um, let's see. I told you that toothpick story, right, with Dallas? No, no. So Dall so. Dallas Page is who thought of Scott Hall's toothpick. So he um, Dallas came up with, look, brother, he goes, we're going to have these toothpicks. He goes, and at the end of the interview, we're going to flick the toothpick into the screen. And so Scott said, hey, that's pretty cool. Let's do it. So they both got a toothpick. They're cutting the interview because Dallas was his you know, manager. And during the interview, Dallas lost his toothpick. And Scott kept his. And at the end, Scott flicked it in the camera. And the rest is history. Wow. I didn't know that. That's a, that is a great story, and and he wrote that you know all the way to the to the very end. That was his I mean, that was his thing. And Dallas, to my understanding, Dallas Page is who thought of that. Wow, genius! And Scott yeah. Hall, I believe, was the one that thought of um, Sting's crow uh, gimmick, right? Yes, yes. Wow, you know, great I, oh, I mean, Kevin Nash is one of the coolest men on the planet, but Kevin and Scott together is who thought of the too sweet the four life the you know um the nwo tag the, i mean everything we did brother was kevin or scott they were the they were the whole brains behind it all we were just tools to help them be cool <laughs> that's all we were they were they were the brains behind it bro